Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Tonight we're in 2 Kings chapter 5, and this particular story is just. I see it and I think to myself, this is the point. This is why what was done was done. This is the story of Naaman the leper. He was a commander of the army of the king of Syria, according to verse 1. Where it's again, 2 Kings chapter 5. And in verse 1, commander of the army of the king of Syria, and great, honorable, wonderful dude, and he was a leper. So, he had a little slave girl. There's a lot I could talk about in this chapter, and I'm going to focus on the, what I believe to be the main point of a lot of stuff that the Lord was doing in the Old Testament as well as what he does nowadays. He had a little slave girl of the Israelis who said, if only he knew the prophet prophet could make him well. So he goes to the prophet, Elisha. Elisha says, go dip in the Jordan seven times. He's really mad because he doesn't like the Jordan for some reason. I don't know the cultural connotation or context there, but he really doesn't like it. And his men were like, bruh, if you were told to do some mighty, great, valorous thing, you would do it. Why can't you just dip in the water seven times? Who cares where the water is or what the water is? Just dip in it seven times. So he does it, and he's cleaned. He's restored. So I'm down to verse 15. And he returned to the man of God, he and all his aides, and came and stood before him. And he said, Indeed, now I know that there is no God in all the earth except in Israel. Now, therefore, please take a gift from your servant. Elisha refuses. Gehazi tries to get greedy. Nameless leprosy falls on him. Again, so many great stories and points I could take from this chapter, but... The main point of this chapter that I see and the main point of what God does in general. How many times have we read? Have I read to you guys? Have you read in the Old Testament yourself? I hope you're reading the Old Testament. Are you reading it? You should. It's good stuff. I encourage you to read the book of First and Second Samuel so many times because I like it so much. Whenever God does something, it is so many times followed up with by whatever prophets delivering the message, so that you will know that I am the Lord. The Lord is trying to get our attention. He is trying to let us know who He is. He is trying to teach this fallen, sinful creation who He is. And Naaman got it. There's no God in all the earth except in Israel. Yahweh is the one true God. He is the God that I am going to worship. I'm going to read just a little bit further. But he said, um, I just read in verse 15, and now therefore please take a gift from your servant. Verse 16, Elisha's response. But he said, as the Lord lives, before whom I stand, I will receive nothing. And he urged him to take it, but he refused. So Naaman said, then if not, please let your servant be given two mule loads of earth. For your servant will no longer offer either burnt offering or sacrifice to other gods, but to the Lord. It's just like, it's so great to see, you know, this is a story from thousands of years ago, long in the past, but it's so great to see a story of someone getting it, of someone understanding, of someone grasping a hold of what should have been so simple and so easy to understand because it's like some great sign or some great thing is going to happen or some prophecy is going to be fulfilled that you may know that I am the Lord. And so many people continue to walk in disobedience and rebellion. But not Naaman. He got it. He was mad about the command. He didn't want to dip in the Jordan. But his men persuaded him to do it. And once he did, he realized, this is the right God. This is the God I should worship. This is the God I need to follow. He got it. And that's why God does what he does, as is said so many times in the Old and New Testament, that you may know that I am the Lord. And Naaman got it. And that's why God does what he does. And that's why we Christians do, or should do, what we do so that people will get it, that Jesus is God. There's one God. He's it. And that's why we do what we do. And it's so great when someone gets it. It's awesome. That is like, that is, like, if not the biggest thing, one of the biggest things that is behind so much of what God does. Because He loves us and He wants us to recognize who He is and love Him back. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you. 
God bless.